Hi, welcome to the Center for Exceptional Dentistry. My name is Dr. Benjamin Pollan, and I've been practicing dentistry since 1981. During those years, I've often been involved with cosmetic and artistic dentistry, often in the field of film and television. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can take your impressions for your custom acrylic fangs from bamfangs.com. We're back in one of my exam rooms with my assistant, Brittany, and my hygienist, Jenny. If you are ordering vamp fangs for your upper teeth, you will have received one kit with an aluminum bag in it. You will get two if you want uppers and lowers. Inside the bag, you will find two blue impression trays, a set of written instructions and a sketch sheet, as well as two white jars and a plastic bag to place your impressions for return. Before starting, please brush your teeth and rinse. Food or plaque left on your teeth can cause distortion in the impressions. We also want you to wash your hands with soap and hot water thoroughly before you handle the impression trays and materials. The first thing we have to do is get used to positioning the impression tray in your mouth. We want the tray to fit all the way in your mouth, but we don't want it touching your teeth. If possible, allow your lips to drape over the front part of the tray. We have two impression trays so you can take duplicate impressions. This will allow us to choose the best one for your custom acrylic band fans. Once you are comfortable placing the trays in your mouth, open both white tubs. One jar has a blue material, the other has a white material. Your kit may vary, but there will be two different colors. Let's start with the blue material. Take the material out of the jar and separate them into two equal portions. Place one half back into the jar and the other half on the cap. It is very important to wash your hands again with soap and hot water, making sure all the blue material is now off your hands. Now take the white material and divide it into two equal parts, placing one half back into the jar and the other half on the cap. Take the blue material on the cap and the white material on the other cap in your hands and mix them vigorously together. Our goal here is one unified blue color with no streaks of white. You have about 45 seconds to do this step. Once you are done, shape this material into a short sausage shape. Place the material into the impression tray, making sure the material is all the way in and pressed lightly into the holes. Remember, time is limited, so work quickly. Insert the tray into your mouth with the handle of the tray facing outwards. Do not bite down on the tray. Gently, but firmly push the tray onto your upper teeth. Do not push so hard that your teeth go all the way down to the plastic of the tray. Remember to try to allow your upper lip to lay over the front. You must remain perfectly still for five full minutes. Any movement will result in a less than perfect impression, which will make your new custom acrylic fangs not fit properly. Try to keep your entire body still and keep hold of the tray with your thumb and first finger. Don't let go. After five minutes, it is time for you to remove the tray. The tray will fit very snug, so don't panic. You will feel the vacuum seal of the impression material release from the back of your teeth. Gently put your fingers on the outside top of the impression material and carefully pull down. You want to make sure you are as careful as possible during this process. Now that you've finished your impression, guess what? We want you to take a second one. Let's do it again. Now that we've finished with Brittany's impressions, let's take a detailed look at them. One of them, though it looked great while she was taking the impression, showed some distortion. Distortion is bad. It meant there was movement while she was taking the impression. This will not enable us to get a great fitting fang. The second impression looks fantastic. It shows details of the gum line and the tooth, which will allow us to make your great custom made fangs. This is why we give you the materials to take two impressions of yourself. Carefully wrap both impressions individually in paper towels and place them inside the clear plastic biohazard bag. Then fold and place your design sheet and a copy of your order receipt in the pouch on the side of the biohazard bag. Time is of the essence, so please get these in the mail as soon as possible. If you are a USA customer, we have included a pre-printed postage paid label and a mailer to send the kit back to us. Do not forget to include the proper paperwork with your order. Now let's take a look at what those custom fangs will look like. Oh my God, what happened here? Call 911. Hey guys, Scott from Vamp Fangs 321 FX Studios. Hope you enjoyed our little video. 
Hope you learned a little bit something about making proper impressions with Dr. Poland here and had a little fun in the process. As you can tell, these are our new customer code bags. Those bags, bags. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.